What's up guys? So my first question is based on their graphs are y equals x squared plus nine and y equals quantity of x plus three squared the same? Um, I think this is a closed question just because it does not, it's just asking based on their graphs, the students can just look at the graph and clearly tell that they're not the same functions. When you know you could solve algebraically and say that algebraically they're not the same, or you could use the ideas of transformations of functions to explain why. So you're really you're not going deep at all with this question. So that leads to me to my open question of describe the various types of transformations of functions and explain how the functions produced in the graph are different. Can you come up with two equations that have different transformations yet produce the same graph? So I think that this is an open question because it starts off by asking the students to explain the various types of transformations of functions, you know, between reflections, vertical and horizontal stretch, vertical and horizontal shift, all of those different types of transformations. The students are getting down on paper, showing that they know what they are, and then they can show that they understand by explaining why these two parabolas are different. And then the, the actual question in this open question brings about a deeper line of thinking for the students to go into when it asks, can you come up with two equations that have different transformations yet produce the same graph? So I think if the students can answer this uh, in a correct way, or even attempt, I think they can, they're can. they really starting to grapple with the ideas of transformation of functions and how can I have two different looking functions but actually be the same function. So I think that's really intriguing. So I, to me, that's a very open question. This is actually a really good question I would ask my SI students right now that are going over transformation of functions.